Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Cardades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with propositional logic, looking at a new rule of implication called constructive dilemma. This is a little bit more complicated, so hold on to your horses. Here's some examples. So, if the detective finds your fingerprints, you will be arrested. And if the detective finds Jen's fingerprints, she will be arrested. That's our first premise. Second premise is the detective will either find your fingerprints or Jen's. Those are the first parts of our two implications. And we conclude, therefore, either you will be arrested or Jen will be arrested. Basically, what we're doing is we are conjoining two implications and then taking a disjunction of the antecedents of those two implications. And we're concluding a disjunction of the consequence of those Two implications. If that didn't make sense, take a look at this next example. If we find a dragon in the cave, it will eat us, and if we find a cow in the cave, we will eat it. We will either find a dragon or a cow in the cave, therefore we will either eat or be eaten. If those are a little confusing and you like truth tables better, let's take a look at that. So, we take P implies Q and R implies S. That's the first premise. The second premise, P or R, and we can conclude Q or R. S. We build our truth tables up under them, then we focus down on the truth tables that represent the two premises in the conclusion. We see there are only five cases in which both the premises are true, and in all of those five cases the conclusion is also true. So this is a valid form of argument. That was constructive dilemma. We represent that with the CD. Next up is conjunction, simplification, addition, and many more to come. Watch a new video every single day for a hundred days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical everybody.